Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a nice isometric drawing of uh, a lap joint uh, which is commonly used in the construction of drawers and sometimes boxes. Okay, You're going to use something called the isometric technique. Uh, as you can see on this drawing uh, there are vertical lines like this one here and there are diagonal lines and these are at a 30 degree angle but there are no horizontal lines. So when you get your paper, if you're doing a horizontal line like that that is wrong. Okay, it's just the vertical and the diagonal. The other tip is stay on the grid. You're going to have isometric paper to help you, and that has got the vertical and diagonal lines on them already. Okay, so uh, follow me step by step, and I'll show you how to do an accurate drawing of a lap joint. First thing I would do, roughly in the center of your piece of paper, uh, do a vertical line with a nice sharp pencil, about six centimeters, just say. Um, I would do it lightly, first of all, in case you make a mistake. I'm doing it a bit more heavily so you can see it on the screen. Once you've done that, we're going to do a V shape staying on the diagonal lines now. So one like that, and one like that. Doesn't really matter how long these are, but they'd be about five or six centimeters as well. Same at the bottom then. V shape again, staying on the diagonal guidelines, like so. So you'll be looking like that. Um, again, do it lightly in case you make a mistake. After that, I'm going to add this section of the joint as you see it like that. To do that, I'm going to do a line here which is going to be one centimeter. That's two of these triangles. Two of these triangles diagonally. Have a go. And then once that is done, I'm going to go from the top of this point back here. This, it doesn't really matter how long it is, probably about four centimeters. All right, finally, we need to add the missing lines from this side of the joint. So I'm gonna go down from that point. There, staying on a vertical line. And then from this point here, have a look, it's that point there. I'm gonna go across like so. That is essentially the lap joint. Now, because it's a cutaway and you're not seeing the whole box or whole drawer, I would just add some curvy lines, like so. And this just indicates that it would go off into the distance. Okay. Finally, uh, the last thing you could do to make it really stand out is color one side. Um, so if you just get a nice pencil, a nice brown would be ideal. Um, make sure it's sharp and then shade it in a way where all your pencil lines are going in the same direction. Okay, if you finish that, my challenge would be using the same technique can you draw a finger joint? A bit more complicated. Good luck.